Hey guys, sorry for the bad lighting. I'm literally using my Mac as a light right now. I just wanted to say that this vlog, I was going to make it 20 minutes long and include Christmas in it, but I just didn't feel like it flowed right and I didn't feel like you would stay interested throughout it. So it's only going to be about 10-ish minutes and I just go over uh, when I come home from the hospital and thermometers and that you should have more than one thermometer because as you can tell, they did not read the same number. And two, I talk about my constipation and how I relieved that. And three, I talk about having a shower for the first time and how that goes. And then I also am able to go out for the first time with my mom and we just went five minutes down the road to the meat market and then i talk about that and i also talk about having extra pillows at the hospital so that's all that this vlog includes but for the next one i talk about christmas and how i had terrible pain during christmas and that i wake up crying in the middle of the night and you'll see all that all of that's really real and raw information so i just wanted to make two separate videos on those type of things so hope you enjoy this vlog and i'll see you later so this is the setup right near my bed this is my mom set this all up so basically i have all the meds that i'm going to be taking that i'm going to need throughout the night and then for the morning i have my probiotic here this is really good for your gut health and just making sure your gut's working and also i use this so i don't get utis the catheter can sometimes do that to you. Melatonin, I used this last surgery because I had trouble sleeping. And then we have um, just like little cups and with the time that I need to take my meds. And then just all the medicine here. And then my mom makes a journal and writes down everything. Like what time I need to take stuff, when I took it. So she just remembers what I took and when I took it, obviously. What kind of day you were having. And what kind of problems. day. What kind of day I was having, any problems I was having, how my pain levels are. This is some more melatonin. This is new. This is the new one we just got for this year. This is to help my me make a bowel movement. And then we have the monitors just to make sure that I don't have a fever. And yes, there's three <laughs> because you never know. You really never know which one is going to give you the best result. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Um want the monitor we literally just took my temperature says 101.8 and they said if it was over 101.5 or even 101 to go to the emergency room so see this is why we have more than one thermometer this one says 99.5 all right this one says 99.9 .9. so i'm gonna do the first one again the first one is saying i have a fever again so i don't know i think i'm just i would go with these two uh, my mom's gonna go and see if we have another thermometer somewhere. All right, this is an old thermometer from last year. This one's saying 99.3. So maybe this one is just defective. I have the box right here. I'm gonna read it and see what's up. It's post-op day five, surgery day six, and then it is 7.49 in the morning. My heart rate is still up. I'm wearing my Fitbit. And then I'm just going to have it on this screen. Every time my mom will hit the side button, she can just easily see my heart rate. I'm going to shower today and check back in later and see how I am throughout the day. All right, guys, I'm going to show you what finally worked for me to have a bowel movement. I was on the toilet for maybe 15 minutes trying to go and my feet were going numb, like literally numb. I had to get off the toilet just for them to not be numb. So I took literally all of this be and started walking to try everything because I was just so uncomfortable. So let me show you what I did. About eight ounces of warm lemon water. Warm is the key. It makes it easier on your digestive system and gets it working. And I also did warm prune juice, just a can of prune juice. I did warm Miralax in four ounces of water with lemon mixed in it. One piece of raisin toast. And then I also ate one piece of 437 toast that has eight grams of fiber. So I wanted to show you this right here. It's the, oh, it's 647. I don't know why I wrote 437. But anyway, it's, it's 647. And it has eight grams of fiber, wheat bread, I have PCOS, so I have to limit my white bread intake. But then I also had a banana for breakfast, 
and I was taking the Senna pill and Cole's pill that the hospital gave me and I took that two times a day since the hospital stay. They started me on the regimen as soon as I came out. And this smoothie mix, it really helped. So I took all of this just to have a bowel movement. Hope that helps anyone that's having a problem. I'm about to take my first shower, yay! They gave me a commode though, so I have to sit on the lid, which is not ideal. I wanted to have a shower chair, but they said they just don't give them out. But I'm gonna have an at-home nurse come to me, so I might see if they're able to bring me a shower chair. But I will update you when I'm looking better and after the shower and let you know how it goes. My mom's gonna wash my hair, so I'm not doing it. I'm barely washing myself at all. My mom is a saint and don't know what I'd do without her. So she's gonna shower me and everything like that. I'm just gonna try to take a quick one. My shoulder blade is kind of hurting me right now and then I'm just gonna lay down. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about last night. Um, last night I had some really good sleep. My mom wakes me up every two hours to take medication. Well, like every like two to three hours. I take the Percocet every four to six hours. I take the Valium every six hours. And then I take the Gabapentin three times a day, which is every eight hours. So my mom said she was waking up like every two to three hours. So she sets an alarm and uh, which like sucks for her. I feel so bad that she has to wake up during the night and she loses sleep but, but around 5 a.m. I woke up in extreme pain I, I honestly I don't know why yeah I woke up in really bad pain and eventually the medication for me will collide so I will take two medications at once um, but then once that hit in I slept a little bit until 6 30 maybe 7 and then I just wanted to get out of bed I hate laying in bed for a long time nights are really hard because of that so I just like to get up and try to walk around and then that's when I came downstairs and I had my coffee and all that but yeah I mean today's going okay I would really love to go out to the meat market with my mom she ordered sides for Christmas our Christmas is gonna be really small usually on Christmas Eve we would have my grandfather come over but because I'm just in recovery and I'm probably not gonna feel great. We're not doing that, we're just gonna have a small Christmas, but yeah, I really wanna go out with her today and try to walk around, you know. The meat market is literally five minutes down the road, so it's not a bad drive. And yeah, I just wanna see if I can feel okay. Walking, getting up, moving is so important. It's so important. So yeah, uh, I'll check back in later if there's anything going on or if there's any more updates. So I hope you're enjoying the vlog. This is very awkward for me and it's kind of hard, but yep. All right, see you guys. So we are getting out of the house today. Um, it's 4.43, so very late than what we planned on, but this is very unexpected for someone to be going somewhere um, like six days after surgery, but honestly just hate being in bed and I'm in pain in bed, so getting out is fine. So if you're feeling good enough to go out, maybe go out somewhere and go take a walk. It's winter now, so it's cold out. So I can't go walking around my cul-de-sac or my town or anything like that. Last September I did take walks outside, so if you're able to in a warm area, I'd suggest doing that. It really makes your mental state feel better and your body feel better. 23rd of December and I just wanted to talk about how I was very thankful that my mom brought so many blankets and pillows for me because the hospital did not have any pillows, it did not have any blankets, and I'm in a recliner right now, I'm in a lot of pain, and I'm just, and I get the chills and like I get really cold really quickly when I'm in pain, and so just being under this blanket, this blanket, you know, this blanket, and having one underneath my shoulder blade just reminded me that you just want to make sure you're prepared and you have as many blankets, thick ones, uh, thin ones, big pillows, small pillows, just so you can stack them up behind your back and figure out what your most comfortable position is going to be. And yeah, I was just so blessed that my mom had was prepared 
and brought so many pillows for herself. Just wanted to let you guys know because I forgot to put that in the what's in my hospital bag video. So yeah, hope that helps.